Guys, I do a giveaway at the beginning of every single video. All you have to do to enter is like and comment on this current video. So the winner of today's random Steam key is... It's Waffy HD Skull Hats. Congratulations, man. Leave a little comment down below of where I can contact you. What is happening, everybody? It is your boy DJ Lordsy inside of the place. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to surf on CSGO. And this is strictly for beginners because I'm going to cover all the tips. And going on, you will become a pro almost immediately. You will get the hang of it. Now, I wish people gave me these tips when I first started or even on a YouTube video, but I don't really see them anywhere, to be honest. So, I'm going to share that with you guys so let's get into this so starting off this video you can see I've got a key logger down in the bottom right this allows you to see what keys I am pressing and it will really help you out if you're struggling to get the concept of what I'm saying but I'm gonna make it as clear as possible okay so starting to go down the ramp you can see I am holding the a button looking into the ramp. The reason I'm holding the A button is because I am on the right side of the slope going left into it, which allows me to slide downhill. You can see it there again. I am sliding along, okay? So that's how you do that. So you wanna use your mouse to actually look in the direction. So if you see the point of view of my character and where they're looking, he was looking down then into the kind of, you see there, he's looking down. If you go down, onto your side towards the bottom of what you're sliding on you can see this here I'm going downwards that allows me to have a lot more speed um, you can see it's picked up to about 2000 and slowed down when I went upwards okay so when you start you can either fall into the ramp or you can jump like you see I did there if you hold spacebar you don't necessarily have to you can see I'm holding it now it's a routine you want to get used to because on the higher tier maps like you get different stages on the harder levels there's going to be things you have to jump over or like there's going to be launch pads where you have to be able to hold space so it's a good little tactic to get used to and now just to show you guys i'm gonna go on the other side where i'm holding d or right whilst holding space doing the exact same techniques but you, i can kind of like switch between so depending on what side you're on you want to hold in towards the direction of the ramp okay guys here are some don'ts do not hold w when you are on the ramp okay this will allow you to automatically fall off and even if you're holding towards the direction of the slope and you press W or hold W, not only will it decrease your speed, but if you hold it long enough, will throw you or uh, off the ramp or completely put you to a halt. So it would take a bit of practice guys, not too much, but just play for a bit and you'll, you'll start to get the hang of it a bit more with these tips. The next one I'm gonna show you is how to like maneuver in the air. So if you move right on your mouse, you have to hold D like you see I am there. If you're gonna move left, then you have to hold A and then look left. It doesn't matter, even if it's the slightest, tiniest bit, you have to do it. Otherwise, you'll just find yourself flying through the air in the same direction, but just being able to look around. So I'm gonna give you another example right here. On a little jump like this, where you don't actually need to turn, you can just tap it gently, or but you still had to look in that direction. So you see there, that's how I was turning. I know I purposely didn't make the ramp, but that is how you maneuver around in the air from left to right, or even if you're gonna spiral around something, that is how you do it, okay? So you can see there, exactly like that. No matter what direction you're looking, you have to hold the button simultaneously. So once you've learned how to do that, it makes it so much easier to move from ramp to ramp. I'm gonna do it again right here. Whoop you see exactly how I done that on the key press. But guys, now I'm gonna show you when it comes to the turns, you can see a dank little turn over there coming up. So you can hold into the direction, but look down, down into the bottom, like you see that bottom line, the gray line that I just fell off, the one nearest the bottom then, you see on the right hand side, that bottom gray line, there's three lines, one in the middle, one on the left, one on the right. If you're going around that bend, you have to be looking down into it whilst holding A. But that is not the only method in doing it, okay? You can also hold the opposite direction. As you can see, I'm holding D. Because I'm on the right-hand side of the slopes, that's the opposite direction to the ramp. 
and I'm looking upwards as opposed to looking downwards like I would if I was holding into the ramp while turning the corner. Always you have to be looking into where you are turning, but this allows you to gain a lot more speed when you are going down the ramps, which you're gonna need later on. It's not so important while starting out, but you will need it, okay? So now I'm gonna use every single technique and show you one last thing that you need to learn. It's the actual jumps or the air you wanna be able to get, like there. It's basically being able to get enough speed, like I taught you at the beginning, by aiming down on the ramps, because the more down you go on the slope, on the gradient of the slope, the faster you will go. So here I didn't need to, here I didn't need to, I can just keep going in the same direction. But if you saw I went on a slight up slant, I was able to get a massive jump but I had enough speed to launch me across the map. Maybe a bit too much speed and too high, but the jumps are gonna be the hardest thing that you're gonna have to be able to get used to. So you can see at just then I'm coming off the slopes at a certain slant. With enough speed, you're gonna have to learn the speed and the the right angles that's the bit you're gonna have to practice for the jumps to be able to actually make it so guys hopefully this tutorial helped you make sure you enter that competition by liking leaving a comment all of my competitions are for subscribers if you want an intermediate um, CSGO tutorial this one was for beginners but if you want me to show you a bit more I'm more than willing to do it guys so Thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you. It's been your boy D -D 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 DJ Lordy inside of the place. I know you like Peace. you shape shift to celebrities overnight. You ready for the ride? I suggest you hold them tight and wrap your legs around me like you're riding motorbikes. You know I'm right. That's why you're laughing, but I'm not the one that's picking up your tab, miss. So relax and you should have a drink or two. I want to get inside you because I'm already into you. Said I'm already into you.